is okay. So tell me about the documentary, Craig, so I can just weigh in from this perspective. It was, it's a YouTube documentary? Yeah, he put it on YouTube. It's on his YouTube channel. It was um, 35 minutes. I actually thought it was very well done. Okay, tell us why. Well, because it was, oh, excuse me, it was shot well. And I think that it really got to the heart of the story he was trying to tell. I think there's a, it's a cautionary tale for a lot of parents, and I'm not specifically saying women, but I think it's a cautionary tale for parents to really be clear with your children about paternity and all of that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Because this man went his entire life, basically. He literally just found out maybe, I, I can't remember exactly, but I think about a year or so ago, it had the timestamps on, on the video, but he literally just found out who his father is. This, according to what I found out, Kirk Franklin actually paid for some other man's funeral like a year or two ago, two years ago, three years ago, who he thought was his, his father. His mother had been telling him all his life that was his father. He had kind of ridiculed this man for not being there in his life as his father. I believe that man went to his death believing that he was Kirk Franklin's father because of what this mother had told him. And then it wasn't until the actual father was at like a family gathering and he said, oh yeah, Deborah and I, that's his mom, Kirk Franklin's mom. Deborah and I, you know, we dated a little bit. And so then the father went and got a DNA test and that's how they found out that he was actually the father. And then the mother, Kirk Franklin's mother, still didn't want to acknowledge that this other man was the father. She kept saying, uh-uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that the other man is your father. Like, I mean, and I don't know if it was embarrassment. She didn't want to admit that she had been sleeping with two different people and she really just didn't know who the father was. Because I don't think it was a situation where she knew that this guy, Rick, was Kirk's father. I really, I really do believe she thought the other guy was the father. Wait, so did she, so she was sleeping with two men? She was obviously sleeping with at least those two. At least. At least. Damn. And that's no judgment, because some of y'all, some of y'all out there. <laughs> no, no, I, and I was just saying there because the guy, most likely the guy that passed away mm. really did die thinking. Yeah. He was his father. I believe he, I believe he really did think that he was Kirk's father. And so, and then for Kirk at 52 to find out, I, I think it was definitely shame and trauma on the mom's part. But I think this relationship that Kirk had with his mom and not knowing who his father is or was informed the relationship that he had with his own son, that one that was on the Zeus network. What was his name? Carrion or something like mm -hmm. that? The cute one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that that is part of the reason why their relationship is so tumultuous, right? Because, and, and here's the thing that I was saying also, I said this on the live, I think, because Kirk said, it was so, so open. He was so open, I will say that. And of course, this is on, you know, he has an album that's about to come out the first week in October. I don't think that this was just a ploy, like, okay, I got an album about to come out, let me put this out. I think it was great marketing, yes. But I think that he really is trying to share his story and, you know, through his own story, help somebody else. Like, if you right now aren't sure who your child's father is, like, this is the time that, to, to tell it. To find out, like, don't wait till your child is in their forties or fifties. But this is what the this is what they do, you know. Yeah. Ch children, children are always used as a weapon. Yeah. Like they like, and they they and as a shield, actually. Mm -hmm. Right. And Kirk said, you know, I was always the most insecure man in the room. I always knew that. Looking at him, I always felt that. I didn't know why, because I I didn't know his story. I didn't know that. He didn't know who his father was and all that stuff. But like when he would host like Sunday's Best and like different award shows, he was always so over the top to me. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? Like it just, he just felt to me like he was trying to what? Well, aside from that, trying to overcompensate, but I just <laughs> it was the porn addiction for me. I was about to say, wasn't he addicted? He was addicted to porn. Yeah. Uh, now they said it was heterosexual porn. <laughs> huh? Why y'all doing that? Huh? What y'all know about G.E. Patterson over there in, in, in Tennessee? Huh? They said it was heterosexual porn, but let me. I have it. 
Let me see if I can find. Couldn't, couldn't seem to find anything over here on the intranet. They said it was heterosexual porn. But it could be, though, Craig. It may have been. It could be. But I wanted to hear from his wife. I, as, a, as a producer looking at it, I wanted to hear from his wife. I wanted to hear her side of it because he said he he's had abandonment issues. You know, he's carried those issues into his relationships. So I wanted to hear from his wife's perspective. How has their relationship or their marriage been impacted by him not having a father, right? And then I'm sure that she's probably had to teach him how to be a better father to their children in a way that he wasn't to that first son that got carrying. You know what I mean? So I wanted to hear from her. I wanted to hear more from that son carrying. Um, I wanted to hear. I want to hear about the porn addiction and what you were watching and what the things. I also, just like I want to know what it was that Chili found that Usher did that was just unforgivable. Egregious. Egregious. Yeah, we never found that out, did we? Well, we uh, we just heard that he might have cheated, right? Allegedly cheated, right? Well, this soup is so good. I know. <laughs> I just got my head down because I'm just going to respond. It's all of these ingredients. They're just like titillating my Ms. taste buds. Miss Mary made that in less than 30 minutes. Yeah, she did just make that. <clears throat> it's like titillating my taste buds. Like a lot of things to the late taste buds. Yeah. Yeah. Egregious thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Deeply egregious thing. Right. Now, what could be so egregious to a woman? Because I've seen a woman take a man back after he done fucked a, uh, he done, he done fucked a, a football team full of women. Mm. Don't tell me. And I got a, got three of, the, three of the football team that was pregnant. Don't tell me it's what I think it, y'all going with it. Seven o'clock on a dot. I'm at my crock pot <laughs> cooking some in the streets. <laughs> I got a real pretty, pretty little thing. In that ladder waiting for me. Yes, indeed. Oh, Lord. I pulled up. Anticipated. Good love. Don't keep me waiting. I got plans to put my hands in places I've never seen. Nigga, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Take it to a place nice and quiet <laughs> where nobody, nobody else can interrupt. interrupt. Baby, <laughs> I just want to take it nice and slow. Baby, Baby tell, tell me what you, you want to do. Tell me what did that pussy get do for me? Because I've been waiting for this for so long. What you doing? So long. <laughs> <laughs> that Usher show in Vegas was phenomenal, up, though. Baby. I will say this, too. You know, when a man has a lot of uh, female partners and he bounces through, comedy, girl, uh, listen, let me turn my back on this because I would not be a part of this. Wait, what, what were you about to say? Well, I know what he was. I'm just going to turn my back on this. Craig, you Wait, Craig. Craig, what you about to say? I was going to say a lot of times when a man has a lot of sexual partners. Uh huh. Female partners. Uh huh. Sometimes they're in search of satisfaction, like J. California Cooper said in her book, in search of satisfaction. Common Usher, Diddy. Uh huh. You know, sometimes they're searching for something. I'm my lawyer right now. No, you're not. They can see. They can see your phone on the thing. I didn't say what they're searching for. <laughs> I just said they're searching. <laughs> <laughs> like Mary J. Blige said, I'm searching for a real love. Mm -hmm. This soup is so delicious. <laughs> Girl, this St. Germain's is really, I'm over here trying to get. This, this St. Germain's is good, though. I ain't even going to hold you. <clears throat> this is my first time hearing about St. Germain's. And you from Africa? You got a lot. What is it? What does me being from Africa got to do with this? Because you didn't even know who Tracy Spencer uh, attended kisses was. <laughs> I'm still disappointed in that. I'm so confused, confused. and I'm really gonna, gonna cry, cry tonight. What must, must I do, baby? 